Hey y'all. So this video is going to be the first video in a new playlist, okay? So many of you have been sending me messages on Facebook asking me if I can do gift baskets, gift basket ideas, you know, for all different holidays and occasions and whatnot. And I thought, hey, you know, with Valentine's Day coming up, this will be a good time to start that playlist. So in this video, I'm going to have a handful of gift baskets pretty much aimed towards Valentine's Day, okay? And then later on, I'm going to do more for Father's Day, Mother's Day, you know, birthdays, that kind of thing, all right? So when I start to put together a, a gift basket, I like to start off with something that can be used throughout the home any time of year. Now, some of these I'm going to have that's really, really geared toward Valentine's Day. But with this here, you know, this is something that you can use around your home. So all of this that I'm going to be using for this particular basket came from Dollar Tree, okay? So I want this one to be aimed towards like a, a teenage girl, you know, something like that. The, you know, <sighs> girls that are into the nail polish and the bath and body, you know, that kind of thing. I'm trying to stick with sort of like a pink theme. So anyway, what I have, this basket, which can be used any time of year, and for a filler, I'm going to be using this tissue paper. I was going to use some paper shred, but you know, I was afraid it might start spilling out of the holes and all that. So we're just going to use some of this tissue paper. And I also have this scarf. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's got the pink trucks on it. Is this the right way? I don't know. Loads of, yeah, this is the right way. <laughs> it says loads of love with the truck and the little hearts. So what I'm going to do with this scarf is I'm going to weave it through this basket just to try to spruce it up a little bit. So I'm going to find the center of the scarf right here and just kind of hold that to the back. I don't know, every two or three holes or so, I'm going to poke the scarf through. One, two, and then three. Let's do one, two, and then three. And I'm just going to kind of weave it in and out of the basket because this basket does <laughs> look very festive. And I think it's going to be enough to go all the way around, I think. So you just want to make sure while you're weaving, every now and again, you know, just stop and make sure that the ends of the scarf are matching up so that when you get all the way around to the front, you know, one side is not long and one side, you know, like not all short. Um, let's see. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to have to do it that way. I'll see this curve here. I'll have to wrap the scarf around that so that will not be three blocks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just use your best judgment, okay? Anyway, this one is going to be pink themed. So the majority of the things that I got from Dollar Tree is going to be pink. And speaking about pink, look at my jewelry. This ring and my pretty bracelet here, they are all pink. And these came from Paparazzi. I am a Paparazzi consultant. I enjoyed it years ago and I'm happy to be back in it. So I'm going to put a link down below and in the description box and such so that you can go and purchase Paparazzi. And when you click on that link click on the shop button and that will let you take a look at the jewelry but I'm going to finish weaving this in and out I see my every third one idea is not exactly going to play out the way I wanted it to so I'm just going to weave it in and out you know take a note of the curved edges here so that it comes around the outside of that I'll be right back Okay, so I have it all the way around, and then I tied a bow in the front, and it didn't make a full bow. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to really ruffle it up, and it looks like a flower to me. It looks like a flower blossom, so I'm pretty happy with that. But um, just a note on this basket. Now, there's going to be a lot more stuff in this basket than the other ones, okay? Because there's a family in my area. They have a teenage girl and a few smaller children. You know, they don't have a lot of money, so... I'm going to be donating this one to the daughter, okay? So that's why with this, I'm putting a lot more stuff in it. You put as little or as much as you want to in your baskets, but before somebody said something, well, you put an awful lot in that one and then skimpy on the others. There's a reason for that, okay? But anyway, we have this tissue paper here. And because the scarf is printed, I think I want to use the solid color first. So let's get this out of the way. And then I'm just going to fit it down into the bottom like so. Like this. This will look better once we start getting stuff in it, okay? Let's get this 
out of the way. All right, pull my sleeves up here. Okay, now for the stuff that's going to go in it, I said I just went through Dollar Tree. I tried to find some pink things. So we have this little teddy bear here. How cute is that? Let's pull the tag off. And yeah, I think I got the pleasant thing. I'm just going to sit him right here. I'm trying to get everything in frame. So let's see. Another thing that I got is this little bucket. Now, with this bucket, let me get this out of the way. With this bucket, I wanted to fill it up to make sort of like a nail care kit. So um, I'm going to take some of this tissue paper, one sheet of this tissue paper, and I'm going to crumple it up and stuff it down in there. Just to kind of protect things. And then I got this nail polish. I got pink and is this white? It's called energy source. I don't know. It's sort of like a like an opalescent looking color. So you can set that and then I got a top coat. You can set the polish down in there. And let's see what else I got. There's a lot of stuff, so it was hard to keep it up here. And then I got this little pedicure set. I'm gonna open this up, okay? I'm going to open this up because I don't like the packaging it's in. You have the toe dividers here. I'm just going to stick that down in there. The pumice stone, stick that. And then this little nail brush and then the clippers. I'll stick that down in there. Okay. Uh, now we're going to take another piece of the tissue and I'm going to tear it in half and I want to try to put it down in there to kind of hold everything to the outer side the outer edge here of the bucket so everything doesn't like just collapse down on the inside and it looks a little bit nicer like an actual kit you know okay now you see how everything is kind of towards the outside here and then this comes with a little lid. So I'm going to snap that lid down there and then set that in there. All right. I have this bath sponge and I'm going to take all the tags off of this. Okay. I mean, anybody that shops at Dollar Tree is going to know where this came from, but I just think it looks a little bit better if you can take the tags off. So let's set that in there. And I'm going to pause right quick so I can get the rest of my stuff out of the bag. All right, that's out of the way. Now, what I want to do with this tissue paper, this heart paper, I'm just going to tear it into pieces. See, about like so, and just crumple it up. I like this better than using the shredded filler. And this basket will take longer to put together than the other ones, okay? Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in this one. So I'm going to rip this up and put it all in there. All the paper is in there and now you can just put in everything else that I got. I thought this was really cute. Um, I might leave this little tag on there just because it's cute, but this is a unicorn. Look at that. You go Dollar Tree. So there's this pink unicorn and the soap inside is like all glittery and cute. Let's set that kind of down towards the back there. And then they have this from Bolero, and I like the Bolero brand for as cheap as it is. I like it. Um, so this is some body wash with watermelon and agave, and then watermelon and agave body yogurt after shower cream. Uh, let's put that over here because the sponge is long and that is long, and that can kind of balance each other out. Put that over here. And then we have bath bombs, the X and O for hugs and kisses, and a little heart. And, oh, I have these little makeup sponges, too. I don't know if I want to put these makeup sponges in there. Um, I might just hand those to her, but I like the way this looks right here. I don't I don't think I want this in there. But, you know, that's an option, too. I don't know if she likes makeup. But now here comes the candy. And I'm going to open up these bags of candy. So this is the strawberry cream and white fudge from Russell Stover. The thing with gift baskets is you can get away with putting 
a lot of inexpensive items, but if you throw in just a couple name brand items, that really pulls it together and it makes it look more expensive than what it actually is, okay? So this is Russell Stover, and then there's Hershey. You know, people look at it and say, oh, name brand. It, in my opinion, it just looks better. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this candy around. And Dollar Tree is really good about having, you know, like the name brand candies and not just, not just you know, their brand. So let's put this in there. All right, and now let's get the Hershey Kisses. Just sprinkle those around. And I think this is a really cute basket. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. You know what? I got two bags of this, so I want to put the second bag in. You see how the colors just all come together, the different shades of pink? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So I am just going to cram this candy in there because who doesn't like candy? And then this basket will be done. Let's move that up a little bit. And I think that's, that's really cute. But um, I'll get better shots of these baskets for the end of the video, okay? Just bear with me. Put that there. There we go. No, you go back here. Yeah, you go back there. So, there is basket number one. Okay, gift basket number two. So this one can be sort of like a couple's basket with the wine and chocolate type theme. So this here came from the Dollar Tree. It says Cupid's Corner. I thought that was really cute. Now, when you're using a deep bucket like this, you say, this is a pretty deep bucket. And if you want to build height, okay, you can take a piece of foam like this and put in there and then put your paper shred on top of that. Or you can take the tissue paper like I have over here, this pink paper, and just scrunch it up a little bit and put it down in the bottom of the bucket. Because tissue paper, depending on where you purchase it, can be cheaper than this shred over here. And that just helps to build up height without adding a lot of money to it. So I'm just gonna scrunch that down in there. And then I'm gonna take my paper shred and put it in there. Now that came from Dollar Tree as well and I'm really liking it. It's red and it has some gold and silver in it. I thought that was cute. So we have that in there. Now these wine glasses also came from Dollar Tree. Can you read that? It says, I'm trying to put my hand in there so you can see it. It says, wine is my valentine. Have that one right there and that one right there just kind of nestle it down in there with the paper and then I got this I thought this was cute this is just a little um it's like a balloon weight you know it's very heavy balloon weight you can use it for some tabletop decor but I thought it would be cute just to put right there in the center and that kind of helps to stop the glasses from moving around and then we have the box of chocolate Cause life is like a box of chocolates that I got from the Dollar Tree. Put that right there. You know what? I might want to put just a little bit more paper to bring that up a little bit. So we have that centered and then we have this in the center and it has a string on it. Why are you doing this? There we go. Now we're going to put that there and now we need to put in some wine. So I was trying to find some wine. I can't drink red wine. It gives me an intense headache, sulfates and all that. Um, so I got some Moscato from Sutter Homes, and I'm just going to put one here, and I'm going to put one there, and then I'm just going to fill it in in the back with some more of this paper. I got several bags of this shredded paper. I think Dollar Tree is a really, really good deal when it comes to stuff like this. And then we're just going to put some more like that, and then here is your wine and chocolate basket. Pretty cute. All right, let me get this out of the way and we'll move on to the next one. All right, my friends, let us move on to gift basket number three. Now this one can be for a guy, teenage boy, um, or it could be for me because I like all this stuff. But um, I'm gonna be using like this sort of rustic looking basket here. Because, like I said, this is going to be for a guy, and this can also be something that they could repurpose for their home. 
Now, when you're looking for baskets like this, you do not have to go to Walmart or some kind of craft store. Look in thrift stores. Goodwill is wonderful. It's an absolutely wonderful place for finding baskets. I think this one was like 50 cents. Um, and some of them look brand new. This one <laughs> looks to me to be like slightly warped, but this one's going in my home. I'm not giving this to anyone. So what we're going to do for this one is fire up your trusty hot glue gun. And I'm going to be using the piece of foam that we spoke about earlier. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of hot glue on that. Not a lot at all, just enough to tack it down like that to hold it in place. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, I have some of this white tissue paper. I'm gonna scrunch that up and kind of put it down in there. Take up some space. So let's open this up. Nothing exciting here, I'm, oh for heaven's sake. See, I ripped it, I don't care anymore. Stuff it down in there. All right. I'm going to get another piece. Just stuff it down in there. Once again, that is going to act as a filler to fill up some of that extra space. Because I see a lot of people... Hold on. I see a lot of people making gift baskets and they don't fill in all that empty space and everything just sinks down and I don't think it looks as nice. All right. So that's pretty well filled up. Because, you know, if you buy gift baskets in the store, you always notice how they have some sort of filler or even pieces of cardboard to use as a form stuck down in there. Now, these are wooden dowels from Dollar Tree. And I also got a handful of snacks. All these snacks came from Dollar Tree. And you remember what I said a while ago about throwing in a, a name brand something here and there. Okay, we have Jack Link's Jerky, the Snyder's of Hanover Pretzel Pieces. Uh, wonderful pistachios, more Jack Links, you know, emerald. So you can get a lot of good snack stuff at Dollar Tree. I don't eat like the food food, but stuff like that. Yeah, I'll grab that. Um, these I bought at the grocery store. These small little Jack Links, the beef and cheese packs. Just whoever you're giving this to, you know, whatever you think they'll like. So here we have our dowel rod, and now I want to find some of the lighter weight snacks. This is pretty light. It's not heavy at all. And let's see. I'm just going to glue this to the dowel rod. Now let's hold this over here so I'm not shooting glue all inside the basket. All right, so just stick that down like that. And I'm going to hold it here just for a second to let that set up. And what else do I have that I could do that with? This pretty lightweight and I might do it for the beef and cheese sticks too you know just whatever because all of these packages are pretty flat right and you want to put them on a dowel rod or something like that to give it height to make it look you know more like a bouquet or something I just think it looks better so I'm going to set that over here and now what you're going to do is take this and you can stick it down inside the foam like so Okay, I might trim this off. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might trim this down just a little bit so it's not as tall. So I'm thinking I might do. Yeah, I can break that or I did have some cutters in here that would work really well, but we're just going to break that and stick it down in there. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. I should have done that before I glued on the package. <laughs> But I'm going to, I think I'm going to take these as well and glue them to some dowel rods. I'm going to glue this to my finger and I'll be back. Okay, so the beef jerky is stuck in there and now we need to put something else in there to, to you know, because you see you have these here. These are even. I like to do these in odd numbers. That's more appeasing to the eye. So here, our Jack Link's beef and cheese sticks. You can see I glued the stick right there and then you could take that and I'm gonna stick that down like right down in the center between those and that looks a lot better. So now let's take these and fan it out a little bit. Stick that in like that. And then I hope this glue has set up. <laughs> yeah, pick it up and it's all gonna fall apart. Okay, now you see how this is sort of fanned out. You have one, two, three, and then the two. Now what I want to do is take some of the paper shred and now we're going to start filling it in. Like so. Oh, I got a glue string. 
That's not very appetizing. So let's put that in there. Let's spill it on the floor. You know, if you're not making a mess, are you really crafting? Are you really making anything? I'm not. I got to get it all over me. I was at Dollar Tree earlier. And when I got back out to the car, I looked in the mirror <laughs> and I had glitter in my hair. I had like all in the front of my hair. I'm like, well, hopefully I brought a little sparkle to someone's day. I'm like, Lord, walking around here looking like a bum. Covered in glitter. All right. So there's that. Let's just get all that in there. And now you can take your bigger pieces your bigger packages and just put place them in there you know however you can get them in there however you think looks good can i fit both of those in there i don't know might need to pull that out a little bit okay just fit that fit that there fit that there and fit that right there right there right there Okay, I think that looks okay. Now, let's pull that up just a little bit more. You just have to work with it to get everything into place. Okay, and now we have that basket. So that could be a really good idea for a guy. Let me get this out of the way and we'll do another one. All right, we are moving right along. This is basket number four. I'm looking at all the baskets on the floor over here. We're on number four. So this one is gonna be sort of like a rest and relax type deal. This little container here came from Dollar Tree and it does have a lid. So you can give it, if you're gonna be giving this to someone, you can give it with like the lid setting underneath it. You know, maybe just put some double-sided tape on there and tell them, what that's a lid. So when you take everything out, you can put the lid on top or get it without the lid and they can use it as a bowl, basket, whatever. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of height like I do. I'm just going to put some of this tissue paper in there. Now, this package here is kind of heavy and it's pretty tall. So let's see. Now, I'm still going to put some tissue paper in there. Okay. Now, from Dollar Tree, and I'm not seeing this particular brand at my store. I'm looking at the back here. I mean, this is not um, this is not like a Dollar Tree brand. It says WBMInternational.com. So this pink Himalayan salt bath salt, I'm just going to put right there in the back. And you know what I want to do? I think the balloon will fit in there without any foam. I'm going to try it without some foam first, okay? So now let's put that there. And now I'm going to put one more piece of the tissue. And what this white tissue paper also does is you see how it shows through and it makes the hearts really stand out. So let's see, what are we going to put in here? I have this shower gel. And I have this lotion. Now, at Dollar Tree, this is what they had out for Valentine's Day this year, like cranberry, sparkling cranberry. You know, they didn't have like any of the floral scented stuff, at least in my store, they didn't. Let's put that there, see how that's gonna look. Well, let's see, should we put in our paper shred now? I think so. These are kind of heavy. And they're kind of pressing that paper underneath down. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this in there, once again, to build up a little bit of height. Okay, that's better. So let's put that in. I also have this body spray here. The cranberry, let's try to lift that up a little bit. Okay, let's put some more in there. Now here's another little heart sponge. I like these because if you don't want to use them on your body, <laughs> you can put some paint on here and then there's a heart-shaped stamp for you. So I think I'm just going to, you know what, let's cut that tag off. I'm not a big fan of these tags. You can leave them on if you want to. I hope all this is going to fit in there. And then I found this candle. It's cute. It's got hearts. Is that hearts? That's not hearts. That's like splatters. Let's see if this will fit in there. I don't think that box is going to fit in there. So you know what? I'm going to open it. I surely am. I'm going to open it. 
but you do whatever you want to do. Oh, that smells good. There we go. That looks better anyway. I think, get over there. I think that looks better without the box. So now I'm just going to take some more of this and stuff it down in there. And we have little stragglies sticking out everywhere. We'll tuck those down. Let's move this off to the side because I have a balloon. Hang on a minute. I have a balloon. And I'm just going to stick that balloon right down in there. There we go. And just move all this around and then you can, you know, pack in however much of this paper shred you want to. And that's a cute little basket there. Let's trim that away. Okay. So there's your little rest and relax type basket. Let me get this out of the way and we'll do another one. All right, gift basket number five. So this one is going to be for my kids, okay? Uh, we are a Charlie Brown house. We love Charlie Brown. We watch, you know, all of their holiday specials, Charlie Brown Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of that. So for them, I wanted to do a Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown, <laughs> a Charlie Brown basket. Now, this is a Hallmark Snoopy. This is not Dollar Tree. This is a Hallmark Snoopy. This one came from Walmart. So let's just cut off his tag right there first. And there's another tag. Why are there so many tags? Heaven forbid. All right. Let's put some tissue paper in here. It doesn't need a lot. And now I'm going to put in some of the paper shred. Ta-da! All right. But anyway, look at this little Snoopy. How cute is that? He's wearing his little Valentine's hat and he's holding his Valentine's letter. So I'm going to stick Snoopy over here in that part, in that part of the heart. And Walmart also had these light up heart tumblers, which I think were pretty cool. Can y'all see them light up there? Turn it off. Um, let's take the tag off of that. I left the tag on so that y'all could see what it looked like. So let's take that and I'm going to put that there. And then Walmart also had this Valentine's Day little Whitman sampler with Snoopy and Charlie Brown. Okay, so there's that. These little mini M&Ms because my kids love M&Ms. And I have some Hershey Kisses. Just going to sprinkle around in there, or you can put them inside. If you're running out of space, you can also put candy inside cups and things that you're going to be given as gifts. So there's an idea. So this one was really quick and easy. You know, not a lot to this at all. And I don't want to put a lot of this paper shred in there because I know my kids, they're going to have it all over the daggum living room. So yeah, there's that one really fast, super fast. Um, all right, let me get this out of the way and then I'm going to move on to the one that I'm going to put together for myself. This one's going to be a fun one. I hope you like this next one. Okay, y'all, so this is gift basket number six. It's the last one. And did I have to make a basket for myself? No, but I saw some of this stuff at Walmart and I thought it was so cute. I just had to get it. Y'all know I adore the Golden Girls. And this is what this basket is going to be about. So I got these. This is a four-piece decorative basket from Walmart. Why does it say four-piece? I see three things. Uh, oh, let's say some little ones there. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Look. Look. There's two little ones. I started to say, did I get something that was missing a piece? But no, here's a big one. And then this long one. And then these two small ones. Okay, I'm good. Let's get that over there. So let's take these out. And this is something that I can use around my home. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, I'm all about trying to um, use things dual purpose. So I have this. And like I said, this is just for fun. So I'm not too concerned about what this one looks like. But let's take some of this white tissue paper and fill it in. I had to pause there for a minute and look. I'm like, okay, it says four pieces, but I'm only seeing three. <laughs> Duh, Amber. So let's fill it in with this white paper. I got several packs of this paper. 
I use it so much. Let's do that. Because this Golden Girl stuff is, is pretty colorful, so I don't think I need to put like a lot of colored paper in this. Okay. So first off, what we have now at Walmart, this is in with the Valentine's Day stuff, okay? Like the, the gift things. I saw they had some things from the office. I think they had friends. I think they had friends. And then they had Golden Girls. But look at this. Look at it. This Golden Girls, like a set, this little um, gift set. It has a journal, pocket journal, sticky memo pad, five sticky bookmarks in five different designs, a decorative pen, and a sticker. The sticker is Sophia's bag. Look at that. Um, <laughs> this is Dorothy saying, no, 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 I will not have a nice day. You know, when she was on the phone trying to get Frank Sinatra tickets, uh, cheesecake, there's Blanche. Uh, let me tell you a story. Picture it, Sicily. So, I'm just going to stick that in the back here, just like that. And then they had this coffee mug. You see, all of these designs match that says Hearts of Gold. Now, I do have a Golden Girls coffee mug already, but I thought that one was cute. There we go. I thought that one was cute, and I wanted to get that one as well. Uh, let's see, what else did they have? Now, I got a whole stack of these. Look, it's a journal. I'm going to open this. Y'all want to open it? Let's see what it looks like. Okay, look. There they are. Um, go to sleep, sweetheart. Pray for brains. I love Dorothy. And then let's go to the rose one. It says, the older you get, the better you get, unless you're a banana. Have I given you any indication at all that I care? This is going to be me when I get old. And Blanche says, nobody ever believes me when I'm telling the truth. I guess it's the curse of being a devastatingly beautiful woman. All right. I thought that might have been bookmarks, but no, that's the, uh, that's the tabs for the different sections. Now, that is just so cute. It is so cute. And we'll try to angle that like this. And they also had some ink pens. So let's stick this off to the side. I'm trying to not cover that up. You know what? Stick that there. No, let's just leave in one pack of the ink pens. I'm trying to not cover everything up. So there's that. And they also had this bag. Look at this. Stay golden. How cute is that? And then look, the little, the little tag here is a palm tree. Let's cut this tag off. I like I care that the tag is on there, but still. All right, let's put that there. We'll put that down there. Now I did get myself some candles. Y'all know I love candles, and I tried to get it in some very Miami colors. So this is this light pink um, from Walmart as well. Uplift. We'll put that there. This is not going to be the prettiest basket, but like I said, it's just for me. And then once again, Miami colors. It's <laughs> sort of a teal. I'll try to say with like the pink and teal color. This is a tranquil candle. Let's put that there. Let's move the mug over. I might stick some more paper down in there. And then I got myself some candy. Because y'all know I like candy. Um, Ghirardelli is one of my favorite types of chocolate. So I'll, let's stick this down. These candles are heavy. Stick that there. I'm out of white tissue paper. Just put that there. There we go. And now here's the candy. Just the assorted chocolates. All of this came from Walmart. And then I'm just going to put the candy down in there and call that that. So there we go. Just sprinkle it around. But I thought y'all might get a kick of all this Golden Girls stuff. So that's why I kind of wanted to put it in there. But anyway, I hope that you liked all of these. Stick around after the video and I'll have photos floating around for you to see, you know, a better shot of the baskets. And what they look like. But um, I hope y'all had fun with this one. I had fun putting this one together. And I'm looking to do more videos like this. Okay. So if you would. Give this one a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.